uploading videos. So in this video, we're going to see how you can upload videos to your course video library. Now, before we can do that, you must first set up your video storage preference. This is a one off action. You don't need to do that every time. So to do that, head over to settings and right here where it says video and select your video storage provider. I'm going to keep learn modes here. Now head over to the course of your preference. Let's say I'm trying to upload videos here. What you need to do in this case is head over to the video library. So here, all you need to do is either drag and drop your video file or just simply click to add a video, navigate your file system, locate your video and upload it. As you can see, I have a video over here. Let's say I'm trying to upload this one and there you go. Now, of course, depending on the video size, you may have to wait a little bit for it to be uploaded and coded and then ready to be used. If you have a lot of videos to upload, you do not need to do that one by one. You can upload up to 15 videos concurrently. Now, keep in mind that you need to ensure that your video's format is supported here. The supported formats are MOV, MP4, 3GP, DIVX, FLV, MPEG, MPG, WMV, and MKV. So your video must be one of these file formats. Also, keep in mind the videos larger than one gigabyte may take longer to upload and load. So consider compressing them before adding them to your academy. Okay, so once the video is uploaded and encoded, it's gonna look something like this. Of course, you can rename it from here, view some video stats, perhaps download and even delete a video. And now you're ready to actually use it in your course. This video can be used in this very course or even accessed by other courses of your academy. Let's take a look. Create a video activity, give it a name, and now select it from the courses library. And it's this one right here. And finally, click to save. And there you go.